Okay, this one's for you. It's for those of you who tune into these um, predictive readings uh, regularly. So I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So it's a typical thing. There's going to be four cards. They're going to be yes, no, or maybe cards. I'll lay them out. Uh, you get to choose. You'll have some time to make a decision about which one, two, three, or all of them that you're going to pick. But the most important thing is to get your questions right to the front of your mind. I mean, really concentrate on what it is that you want the cards to address. How else will the message get through? So this is the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini. This is published by US Game Systems. And I really love these cards, and they've got an interesting story behind them too. And there's a follow-up deck um, that I sometimes use uh, together with these. But uh, so they come in a, a typical, uh, just a little cardboard card box. It's fine. Um, the artist is David Palladini, who was born in Italy, but raised in the United States in Highland Park, Illinois. So that's a little bit interesting once you get to know the cards. And uh, the instruction book that comes with them is just a run-of-the-mill, uh, this card means this and that card means that kind of thing. Really nothing all very meaningful in here, and it's kind of printed really small. So there's all of that. The interesting thing about these cards is uh, what happened, David Palladini was just finishing up um, art school when, I forget who it was, someone approached him about doing uh, tarot cards. Um, and now David Palladini just recently died. This is 2000 and 21 in May, and he may have died three years ago or in that in that time span, so uh, 17, 2017 or something. And then, so then these were done at the beginning of his career, which would have been, put him in his uh, 20s, or late 20s, I would imagine. So you can see that these are very nice cards, very soft spirit, and very to the point. Uh, they're not hard to uh, interpret. <clears throat> and I lay these out like this so that you can get an idea of what a full deck looks like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards or or sees a lot of tarot cards. I do because I just like to collect them. I think they're, they're little pieces of art. <clears throat> but uh, this fellow uh, did these right out of art school and then he could never have imagined they would come such an integral, become such an integral part of tarot. And then later in his life he went ahead and, um, and did an updated uh, deck. But these are the Aquarian Tarot by David Palladini, and uh, they're really great. I love them. Okay, this is for you. Uh, this reading is for those of you who tune in so regularly to see what uh, this uh, these cards uh, might tell you, okay? This energy is directed specifically for you. I open up uh, myself to, um, to that energy completely. But before we get started with that, let's just have a moment for you for a little meditation. Now let's see what the cards can tell us. Now what we'll have here is four cards, one, two, three, and four. I'll pick them at random. They will be yes, no, or maybe cards, and then I'll tell you uh, what they are. That, not, that might answer your question, that might resolve your issue. And if it doesn't, then I'm gonna go on to do a six card divination of those four cards individually, okay? So the first, oh, that's not very good. Let's try a nice uh, uh, spread again for that. Okay, let's take those four cards. Okay, this is one, two, three, four. Okay. Put them down like this. And we'll count. One, two, three, or four. This is where you can make a choice. Remember, you can stop the tape if you like. One, two, three, four. Get your questions right to the front of your mind. Maybe take a deep breath and let it out slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, or four. Okay? 
So let's see if you chose card number one. Well, this is an O card. This is death. This is the end of a cycle. It's very seldom actually death, but it is. This thing is ended and something else is going to have to begin. But this is no. This is a very definite, no questions asked, no. Chose number two. Okay, this is the Queen of Swords. This is a yes card. Swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. Queen it brings a feminine, compassionate uh, energy to that decision. So, yeah. So, let's, this is telling you this is a yes card. Make sure we consider all, with all the compassion that we can, these truth, justice, rules, and law. They have to deal with this uh, thing that uh, you're concerned about. You chose number three. This is the Chariot. This is a yes card, and this is telling us that things can... Um, happen at a rapid pace okay so this is yes be prepared for things to move on or maybe you need to come to this decision quickly but this is the chariot and just saying hold on but yeah we chose number four We've got the Knight of Rods. This is also a yes card. This is a, a you know, slightly less potent yes than a queen and, uh, would be. And the wands are uh, uh, plans, a forward movement, uh, actions and this knight is is going to take this great big plan that he's got resting on his shoulder and he's going to fight for it. So this is a yes, but this could be a little bit of a struggle. Okay, so that's what we've got. We've got no yes, yes, yes in different uh, degrees. <coughs> so we'll see what we can find out more detailed with the signifier. This no card, this end of a cycle, end of a cycle. If that's the card that you've chosen. Okay, let me get these shuffled up a little bit here. And we'll get uh, five more cards for this divination to maybe get some meat on the bones of this no card and see what we can determine about that. So this is saying no. This is definite. This is the end. Uh, stop now. Say no. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Okay, I'm going to put this over here to deal with this energy. And see what's the challenge to that death card, that no card. The challenge to that, oh, is the four of wands. So these wands are actions, plans, forward movement. The four of wands is small celebrations towards something larger. So the, the fact that this is a no is challenged by this celebratory uh, situation. So you may be involved in something that seems like, you know, you're getting caught up in the celebration. And yeah, let's keep going. But this is telling us, listen, the challenge to this no that has to be made is uh, this, 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 um, pleasantry right here. The base of this reading then is uh, the world card, the end of a cycle. Okay. And it's perfect for this to come up here because whenever you have the death card, that's telling us that something else is going to uh, happen. But the fact that this uh, is at the beginning here, that maybe that this cycle just started. And the fact is that it needs to end now. I wonder if this was a wedding. Uh, the past of this uh, reading is his Two of Cups, the Lovers. This lends uh, more credence to that interpretation. So the uh, passion, compassion, uh, partnership, but it's in the past here. So this is telling me that um, you know we came into this for with a lot of beautiful things, but it needs to stop. And the uh, sky of this, having to walk away from something of emotional value, this Eight of Cups. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. I wonder if someone got married and they need to they need to not be married. And uh, the uh, likely outcome of this then is the Empress. Okay, that's finding the intuition within. The, this is being fruitful. This is uh, taking your power into your own hands, but understanding that you need to step back. I don't know, off the top of my head, if there's a bride looking at this reading right now, this may not have been the right decision to make. And you maybe need to work to reverse that. But um, this is the, um, the answers we got for that right now. So let's put these back into the pack. And if you chose number two, okay, that's the Queen of Swords. That's a yes card. That's a pretty authoritative yes. Truth, justice, rules, and law, and the Queen being in charge of that. So I would say this is a pretty good uh, yes card, okay? We're going to take five cards out of here just to finish that divination. One. I want to go over here, actually. Two. Three. Four. I'll say here five. Put this over here to work on that energy. And we'll see what we've got as a challenge to this nice yes card, this Queen of Swords. The challenge to that is the abuse of power, the five of swords. Again, truth, justice, rules, and law. 
but so you need to make this the yes decision can be a nice strong decision but don't go too far with it don't think you're a king of swords when you're a queen of swords abuse of power is a challenge uh the base of this reading ah is the against swords uh truth justice rules law this is the knight of swords this is telling us to take a beat take a rest really have some consideration uh before you move uh, forward that's how we come into this the past of this reading with his king of cups it was a very strong emotional compassionate cups being emotion compassion uh situation that brought us to this and the sky of this reading with the five of pentacles is feeling left out in the cold so it could be that making this yes decision may leave you feeling put out and then the final uh, outcome for this is the star card hope so understand that uh, whatever the situation is okay there can be some difficulties here it may have seemed like the natural way to go uh, this yes card uh, moving forward with this it tells us that this is in the right direction with this hope card this star card in the end okay go on to the next one number three if that's what you chose just incorporate these right back into the deck and see what we can find out a little bit more for you on this chariot. Things coming at a rapid pace. If you chose number three, this is a yes card. Understand that this is going to start to happen quickly. Okay, or maybe it has happened to you quickly. Five more cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. The challenge to this chariot, things moving at a rapid pace. Ah, broken heart. Truth, justice, rules, and law. Uh, disappointment. Um, grief. Um, interesting. There's a challenge to this thing happening quickly. It's a yes card, but yeah, the challenge is some grief. The base of this, again, I love when the cards repeat, but this is telling us that um, perhaps we came into this with some hesitation. Okay? The pass of this with the sun card is just uh, letting us know that uh, this is near the end of the Major Arcana with this number 19. And the Sun card is uh, a bright, uh, brilliant, um, uh, showing uh, effect on this decision. The uh, Sky this reading with the Three of Pentacles, collaboration. We're working together for to make something pub with public, for public display, but we notice that this person seems to be working alone here. So I think this just tells us, let's make sure that we have collaboration. And then the final outcome with this pay, this nine of cups is the greedy merchant wanting to show their compassion, their value, their worth. Uh, uh, proud of that. So it's a yes card. This could happen quickly. Um, it's being challenged by some grief. I think maybe there was some hesitation in the beginning, but then some light shone, or you should recognize the light's being shown on this issue. Find some collaboration to finish this uh, job, and uh, and in the end will be something that you're very, very proud uh, that, that you did. Okay, and then the last one that we have here for you, chose number four. Signifier card, this Knight of Rods, this fighter for plans, okay? So if this was your card, then we're going to put five more cards down here to see if it gets a little clarity for you. Knight of Rods, this uh, fellow is going to fight for those plans. He's going to, at his own death, doesn't necessarily make it happen. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Done with these cards for now doing all they can to help us okay the challenge to this knight of rods is judgment <clears throat> so the um, this uh, action this um, uh, fight here is challenged by uh, judgment interesting the base of this reading then is a fool this is a new journey so this is the beginning of something and the past of this with this page of pentacles. So this is this is a knight of rods, and this is a page of pentacles. This is a message, this is a suggestion of value. It's not fully formed, okay? And the sky of this reading with this ace of pentacles is letting us know, okay, it can be depended on. And the likely outcome then, with this five of swords is uh, truth, justice, rules, law, and abuse of power. So we can say yes to this. We can fight for this plan, okay? Understand there can be judgment uh, regarding what you do. So you wanna make sure you've done things in the correct manner. 
uh, it's a new, we started off on this journey. And so that's how we come to having to make this yes decision. The Page of Pentacles, there was some question as to the value, some suggestion, a hint to the value that this was. But in the sky with this great big Ace of Pentacles, we can know that the value is there. And uh, we need to uh, be cautioned uh, for this uh, abuse of uh, rules justice, truth, and law. So be careful that you're following the rules, you're paying attention to the uh, justice and the law. So with that being said, those are all of our choices for today. And I really hope all of that was useful. And thank you. Well, I hope that was meaningful for you, or at least entertaining. And, um, you know, if it doesn't seem to ring true, like I would tell you all every week, is you can put this aside, come to look at it later, maybe think about some people who are close to you, who you think this might be useful for. And uh, and if it doesn't ring true, it just doesn't ring true, and that's fine. Don't worry about it. we got to spend some time together, and that's what counts. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.